Hi everyone, happy Saturday. Glad you're tuning in with us here. Weatherbug meteorologist Miranda Hilger is back with your national forecast. We're talking tropics across portions of the Pacific. We've got Hurricane Norbert moving in and bringing with it a lot of moisture, which could lead to some flash flooding. And we even have a severe weather threat moving into the northeast today as we woke up to a very steamy start already. Early Saturday, Hurricane Norbert at a Category 3 off the Baja coast. And even though this will not make any direct impact as far as a landfall goes, we're still looking at a significant amount of moisture being drawn up into the desert southwest over the next few days, which could lead to some severe thunderstorms potentially, and certainly some heavy rainfall and flash flooding. This entire system gets sort of absorbed by the rest of the weather patterns going on over the lower 48, so we're not really too concerned with what's happening afterwards. But up until that point, Heavy, heavy rainfall likely here across southern New Mexico, west Texas, and even through southern California and Nevada. Good news for the drought, bad news for flash flooding, and those threats do continue on into Tuesday as our rainfall totals will continue to climb. Upwards of one to two inches are likely there on the border of southern Nevada and into uh, that California-Arizona border. It's not the only spot, though. The East Coast will also get in on our fair share of rainfall. We've got a severe weather threat for the day today with a cold front that's already been making some trouble through the Midwest and the Great Lakes. Numerous reports of wind damage and hail, minimal tornadic activity, which is always a good thing, and that will be the threat continuing forward as that cold front slides into the northeast from Maine all the way back down to the New York City metro. We've got the threats for strong wind and hail once again, and an isolated tornado certainly can't be ruled out. Now this cold front keeps moving offshore. We will get some drier weather in place, but then another system is already going to be working up the coast next week, which will additionally add to some of that rainfall. So here's the first frontal boundary that should clear out by Sunday. And then here we have another area of low pressure developing in the mid-Atlantic, which will lead to more heavy rainfall for the eastern coast. Here's your national forecast. Thanks for tuning in with us at weatherbug.com.